What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE action figure setup and it is time for the Royal Rumble. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE action figure setup as we run right into the tower there. I do apologize for that. Today man, we do have the full backstage ready to go. I got a full action figure setup here. It is time for the Royal Rumble. I'm excited man. We're going to take you guys all the way through the setup. I'm going to start all the way in the GM slash manager's office and I'm going to run you guys through the entire backstage and then we have a little shock sneak peek in the back there. So let's shut the hell up, start off with the office and get this setup started. Also, if you guys were unaware before we get the setup started i will be at the royal rumble tomorrow this is getting posted on friday so some of the things in the setup may be inaccurate maybe some things have changed since then i'm filming this on tuesday it'll be posted on friday and i am going to be at the royal rumble man so if you're going to the royal rumble comment down below i'd love to meet up go to the superstore wrestlecon whatever the hell it is man hopefully i'll get to meet some of you guys take some photos whatever it is man but i hope to see you there but enjoy the setup all right man we're going to start off in the gm's office and we are starting here in the i mean this is the md T general manager's office right this is usually where the pick fed stuff occurs and typically it is over there where ko and sammy are but we're over here on the right side this is where my monitor setup is or not my monitor my my tower or my computer tower whatever the hell you want to call it I got some lamps in the way but as you guys will see we do have john cena and stone cold steve austin in the gm's office talking to triple h and i thought it was funny to have you know vince mcmahon over there because they say that you know he he's rumored to be back in control there's different things going around and all that stuff but but, you know he's lurking in the background. I think that's kind of, you know, represented here in the setup. I wanted to have him in the background kind of lurking. Like, he's still secretly in control of things, but we do have the suited H there with Stone Cold. You know, it's apparently there was a report that he accepted a big money offer for a match with Roman Reigns. Is that going to be at, you know, WrestleMania? Is that going to take place at the Rumble? Is he going to return and win the Rumble? Is he going to attack Reigns? Is that for a Saudi show? I mean, lots of things here. But the reason they're in the GM's office for the Royal Rumble setup is because I, th I think we might see Stone Cold Steve Austin and John Cena return turn at this rumble i hope so i think it would be fantastic given what we saw of austin last year i hope it's true but that is the gm's office and we come out of the gm's office you will see randy orton and matt riddle right here you guys will see randy orton and matt riddle matt riddle is talking to randy he's hyped because randy orton i think will be returning at the rumble i could see him being that number 30 spot you know given you know some ridiculous crazy shock factor things happening i could see randy orton showing up at the royal rumble being the number 30 entrant making some waves maybe being in that final four i think he will return at the rumble you know he's been on the shelf for a little bit now and i see him coming back but he's here chilling shortly before the rumble and then he's got his boy riddle there i think they could kickstart their feud maybe inside the rumble leading to a mania match we come just forward a little bit you will see husband and wife johnny gargano and candace LeRae here candace LeRae kind of just you know being with him there she is in the women's rumble but i don't think gargano can participate because of an injury i'd love to see him get cleared and be in the rumble but it is looking like he is going to miss so i do have her kind of consoling him this year in the royal rumble sort of injury area that's where you know the hospital bed is you guys can also see rick boogs there and it's like the the medical kind of area i guess but rick boogs is also chilling there also think he's still on the shelf but you know i have you know husband and wife moment happening right here if we come just a little bit forward you will see the beast incarnate who did return on monday night raw and attack bobby lashley and theory he attacked both of them leading to theory retain the championship in the no disqualification match but brock lesnar is stretching getting ready for that rumble i think he'll be in that rumble match man i think we could see potential potentially the most stacked rumble we've ever seen Brock Lesnar when you're talking about Brock Lesnar and all these big names being in there he's definitely going to be in the rumble match I'm honestly scared that he might win the damn thing and I'll be heavily disappointed if he does win and I'm as big a Lesnar fan as you'll find but we don't want to see him win the rumble again now if you go down this hallway right here you guys can see there's like a little hallway crevice right here you will see the United States champion Austin Theory with his United States championship he's just kind of hanging out back there I wanted to make sure the U.S. champion was represented here in the setup so I have him there right here you do have JBL and Trash Corbin talking about the trash. You will notice they both got their hats going and everything like that. They're talking, trying to plan out for the Royal Rumble. You guys will also notice that they're near the trash. You know, I gotta, I gotta put Trash Corbin near the trash. It's just the way it is. So any longtime members of the channel know what the hell I'm talking about there. Trash Corbin belongs in the trash. I'm gonna move Brock out of the way a little bit here so you guys can see that we have AJ Styles here. Very unfortunate situation. He is on his crutches right here, but AJ Styles, he's got his hoodie on. He looks good. He did apparently break his left ankle, I think. 
and he will not be in the Rumble. Very disappointed in that, man. I really wanted to see him at the Rumble, but I don't think it's going to be possible. I would obviously be super excited to see him there, but doesn't look like it's going to be in the cards this year, but hopefully he'll be back for Mania, and that's all we can really hope for. Maybe the Raw after Mania, potentially, we'll have to see, but hopefully he recovers soon, and I'm always uh, rooting for AJ Styles. If we come forward a little bit, man, we have the Tribal Chief. We have the Bloodline in full capacity without Solo, obviously, and then Sami Zayn's over there, because if you guys watch Monday Night Raw, Roman Reigns said he didn't want to see Sami Zayn until the Royal Rumble, so maybe tonight on SmackDown, something will happen. You know, you are seeing this on Friday. I'm recording this on Tuesday night. Maybe something happens on Friday night SmackDown or something, but Roman Reigns is right here in the Bloodline, chilling, and then you got, you got Paul Heyman behind him with both championships. I know the WWE Championship has the Brock Lesnar side plates, but I felt like the main plate looked so good. I guess I could switch the side plates, but it doesn't really bother me that much. I, You know, it's it, it's just Paul Heyman carrying both championships, and then we have both Usos here with all their gold looking pretty crazy. They got their red and black and Bloodline gear going, so they're all chilling out before the Royal Rumble. Now we come to the front here. You guys will see the SmackDown Women's Champion. We have Charlotte Flair here with that new Elite 100 SmackDown Women's Championship looking pretty good here. I don't really expect to see her at the Rumble, but I guess anything's possible, but she's walking around the setup. Coming to the front, we do have New Day here. I'd love to see Big E return at the Rumble, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. You know, I, I was actually there live to see him when he, I, I saw him in his last match. You know, I was there when the injury took place. Front row, saw it firsthand. It legitimately happened like eight feet away from me or something like that. So very scary situation, but I hope to see him return soon. But I do have like a little New Day reunion here in the middle of the setup. So I got the table. They're all laughing, chilling, and hope to see Big E back in the ring soon if he's able to do so. And we come forward right here, guys. You will see the Judgment Day. Now we do have Dom there with the with the bandana on his face. Damian Priest, Finn Balor got the full Judgment Day here. Obviously, they're not really updated, but you know, it's not, you know, we don't have the updated figures just yet, but we have all of them. If you're wondering where Rhea Ripley is, she's actually on the stage, and we'll take you over to the arena. It's part of the setup as well. I actually included the arena. So we have some action in the ring, and we also have the backstage full. Coming to the center here, guys, we do have Bobby Lashley talking to MVP again. Is he going to align with MVP again? Again, at the time of recording, not yet, but maybe with the attack from Brock Lesnar, maybe he's going to, you know, take MVP's words and say, you know what, maybe I do need some help from, from the Hurt Business, and we need to get back together. But there's Bobby Lashley. Love that top talents figure, and then the suited MVP looks so damn good. It really adds a level of realism, man. When you get these low angles, it just looks like a full backstage shot at a real WWE show, and that's the goal in these setups. If you go just beyond, guys, you will see Karrion Cross and Scarlett kind of snuggled up here before the Rumble. We do have the Women's Royal Rumble happening currently in the ring right now at the time of this setup. Like, it's supposed to be the Women's Rumble has started, and this is the backstage area while the Women's Rumble is going on, but there are them two, and then we do have, I like this pose from Seth Rollins right here. He's got the one hand on the wall, and just him and Becky Lynch chilling backstage before she goes out for the Rumble. I do imagine she'll be in the Rumble. She'll probably get some payback on damage control, probably, but there's Seth Rollins. He's looking good. I love that pink suit fix-up. Doc Hendricks built a figure, Seth Rollins, and then we do have the Elite 100 Becky looking good. And then if we come on this side, you guys will see Montez Ford and Bianca Belair celebrating here. I do think she's probably going to have a nice little matchup with Alexa Bliss, hopefully so. Being there in person, I hope the show overall is just damn good, but Bianca Belair celebrating with her husband there. You got Montez Ford and Bianca Belair. Love that. They're probably my favorite couple in WWE, probably. Now, before we get to this stuff happening back here at the open doors, man, I'm going to go over here. Now, this is something I'll probably get into, or you guys probably already saw in my fantasy booking video of the Royal Rumble. We're going to do a WWE action figure Royal Rumble fantasy booking video, and I don't know if you guys noticed it. I probably mentioned it in the fantasy booking. I'm sure I did, but Kevin Owens signs the contract, takes out the bloodline, and then when Sami Zayn runs down there, he like throws him the contract, and then he retreats into the stands, and then Sami Zayn's looking at Kevin in the stands, and then he looks back at the contract. Is it possible that Kevin Owens signs Sami Zayn's name to the contract, and there's going to be a bunch of buffoonery happening at the Rumble? Maybe we have a situation where Sami Zayn turns on the bloodline. You know, we've seen the whole setup. That segment they had on Monday Night Raw was fantastic, putting Sami Zayn on trial. So I just have Sami Zayn holding the contract and talking to Kevin Owens about that situation. Maybe it'll come to fruition. You know, Roman Reigns doesn't want to see Sami Zayn until the Royal Rumble. So maybe they'll end up facing. Maybe they'll be locking up at the Royal Rumble and the Usos will interfere. Roman Reigns will end up retaining and then we'll get an Elimination Chamber rematch and then it'll lead to the Usos versus KO and Sami at Mania and then Roman Reigns breaking off to fight whoever the hell he's fighting. So I don't know. Lots of great stories here. Really intrigued this WrestleMania season, but I know it's kind of a long-winded segment there, but we do have Sammy in the Bloodline shirt and he's talking to KO about the contract that he signed on Friday Night SmackDown. And if we go from there, guys, we do have Cody Rhodes over here all by his lonesome man. I think he is on a mission. He is on a mission to win the Royal Rumble this year. 
gear and he is just over here super focused already got his coat on already got his interest gear on he is ready to go so i just have him over here by himself prepping for the royal rumble and it should be really fun i can't wait to see it live i hope i hope he wins i'm gonna be going hard for him but i just got him represented by himself here but that pretty much covers the backstage area i do want to go right here if you guys will see we do have like uh we i know that's rick rude in a suit but you know it's just kind of an official and then we have a police officer opening up the back door to the arena for a man in black coming into the arena by limousine he's got his hood on who is it brad it's none other than the rock so if you guys go behind the wall you guys will see the limousine got the private limousine with the rock sneaking into the arena he's got his bag he's got the roman reigns mocking head of the table shirt on and he is in disguise he's got his hood on he's trying to stay undetected maybe he'll attack roman reigns after he beats kevin owens or Sami Zayn. maybe the rock appears at number 30 in the rumble and wins the thing you know lots of rumors saying that he's a no-go but that could just be fluff so i do have the rock sneaking into the royal rumble right here again having the head of the table shirt on right there and he's got his backpack coming in by limousine into the arena so i thought that was a pretty cool detail nonetheless man let's go over to the arena and find out what's happening over there all right guys so if you go from the backstage area into the arena i know the lighting is shite it's because all of my lights are on the backstage area but if you come to the ring we have the women's royal rumble taking place and making her entrance right now is rhea ripley so she's coming down to the ring i think she's gonna win the women's royal rumble i think that'd be who i'd pick you guys probably already know that because i think my predictions and my fantasy booking have already gone up by now but rhea ripley would be winning the royal rumble in my opinion and then you come down to the ring and you do have damage control beating up on zelina vega we got like a little tag team alliance here in the royal rumble and then we end here in the corner we have ronda rousey and Shayna baszler beating up on raquel rodriguez and then over here we do have the return of naomi in the rumble and then we have Liv morgan over here got see that she got beat up by damage control so they're kind of taking command of the royal rumble but hopefully rhea ripley will come down and you know wreak havoc throw everybody out and win the damn thing so there's going to be a lot of surprises at the women's royal rumble because only like seven or eight entrants are announced at time of recording maybe they've announced like four or five more since then so it should be fun man i can't wait for it but let's throw it back to the backstage and we'll get the hell out anyways man that is going to wrap up my wwe action figure setup for the royal rumble I had a ton of fun with it man i always enjoy the setups i like the details and trying to bring in the realism and some of my own cool thoughts and imagery that you can bring together with these figures so nonetheless man i am super excited for the royal rumble if you guys are going to be there please let me know down below look for me there i don't know what i'm wearing just yet but hopefully you guys can uh, find me take a photo whatever the hell it is man i'm down so i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and have a blessed one we'll never